This one's going to be a little controversial, maybe, I don't really know. Today we're gonna to talk about CBD because this stuff is everywhere right now. You can buy it at the gas station, at the liquor store, on Amazon, or just about anywhere else. However, it seems the effects in the different products available through all of these different retailers vary quite a bit. It's all very confusing. I'm Dave, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a runner, and I tend to gravitate towards longer distance running, like ultra marathons, where some of the events I partake in are 100 miles long and can last over 25 hours. And guess what? That kind of activity also leads to a lot of soreness and inflammation in my body. During a heavy training block, my knees and my feet and all the joints of my lower extremities do get quite sore. And not only that, but years ago, I also had surgery on my left knee to correct some cartilage and smooth things out and also remove a chunk of bone that had broken off of my kneecap, which is, not a great thing to have when you're a runner. And I'm sure a lot of you out there right now that are not runners are probably wondering, well, Dave, why don't you just stop running or do less of it at least? Well, the fact is I enjoy it. It's something I really enjoy. It's very relaxing to me. It's a form of meditation. So I would like to continue doing it. And I would also like to continue partaking in these ultra endurance events because I really enjoy those as well. I've tried all kinds of things like turmeric extract that has anti-inflammatory properties and gluten glucosamine supplements that are supposed to help with rebuilding your cartilage. And I'm not sure if either of those things really help, if they really make an effect, or it's just placebo. But I do still take glucosamine because I thought it did something. So it's something I just keep taking because it doesn't seem like it's hurting anything, so why not? However, at this point in my life, I've been training quite a bit for an upcoming ultra marathon that's 100 miles long. And I've been noticing a lot of pain in my knees. So I thought it was worth experimenting with something entirely new and and that is CBD. I'm sure you all know what CBD is, but for those of you that don't, cannabidoil, 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 whatever, I'm gonna call it CBD for the purpose of this video because the real word is hard to say. <laughs> CBD comes from the cannabis plant. Yes, the marijuana plant that we all know about. However, it's derived from the hemp of the plant itself. Even though CBD comes from the cannabis plant, unlike other parts of the plant, CBD does not get you high or intoxicated. And despite what your friends might tell you, it it's not going to make you the life of the party. Instead, in most recent years, CBD has been most commonly used to treat chronic pain, anxiety, inflammation, and problems with sleep, like insomnia. And the really interesting thing about CBD is that it's not a typical painkiller. It's not like a brain receptor blocker type of thing, like ibuprofen or Tylenol, for example. Instead, it's an actual anti-inflammatory that will actually reduce inflammation without just blocking the pain and masking it. Now that we've gone through the quick explainer, let's get to the point of this video. I'm making this video to share my personal experience as a runner that does these sorts of things because I feel like it might be helpful for other people out there in a similar situation. And just for a little bit more context about me and my opinions, I'm not really one that takes part in homeopathic remedies. I'm not into like holistic medicine. I'm not a weed enthusiast or a marijuana enthusiast. Heck, I only tried it a couple of times in high school and I absolutely hated it. I'm also not anti-pharmaceutical and I will occasionally take Tylenol or ibuprofen off the shelf if I need to, if I've got a headache or some aches and pains that just won't go away. With that said, I also wanna throw out a quick disclaimer that I am not a doctor. I'm not a running coach, a doctor, a physician, a nurse, nothing like that. I'm not a medical professional. So do your own homework if you're planning on taking this stuff and take everything I say here with a grain of salt. When it came time to actually purchase this stuff, I did get my supplements from a company called CBDMD because they seemed like a reputable brand and I knew other people in the running space that were using this stuff. CBDMD is not sponsoring this video in any way though, and I bought these supplements with my own hard-earned money. However, I do have a link in the description down below that'll direct you over to the products that I'm using if you're interested in buying those. You don't need to buy CBDMD if you don't want to. There's a lot of reputable brands out there making CBD supplements. This is just what I chose. With that said, let's get to the point of this video and talk about the actual products I've been using. One is a topical and one is an oral supplement. Let's talk about the oral supplement first. So what I have here is CBDMD Broad Spectrum CBD Gummies. And this is the 6,000 milligram container. So this has 
30 servings and each serving is two gummies and each serving has 200 milligrams of CBD. This 6,000 milligram container is quite expensive though. This came in at about $110 at the time of filming this video. However, there are sales, there are discount codes pretty often. So check out the links down below to see the current pricing. When it comes to the actual form factor of these gummies, I'll take a couple out so we can look at them. They come in the form of these cubes, as you can see here. And there's a few different colors available and I think there's different flavors as well. And when it comes to actually eating these things, they're a joy to eat. I mean, this basically tastes like candy and I'll take any excuse to eat gummies at night right before bed. And uh, they're, they're really good. They've got this kind of sugary coating to them. If you can see that on the camera and they taste quite good. They taste like a candy, which is kind of dangerous because if you take too many of these, you'll you'll take a very long nap. On top of that, if we look at the back of the container here, even though they do taste like candy, there isn't a ton of sugar in these gummies. There's five grams per serving and that's two gummies. So it's definitely a little bit of sugar, but it's not an over, over the top amount of sugar. And along with five grams of sugar, there's also 25 calories per serving. And again, that's every two gummies. And another really interesting form of validation that these things are actually doing something is when I look at my Garmin stats, my Whoop band, or even the Aura Ring or Ultra Human Ring I've been wearing for a while now, on nights where I use CBD for sleep, I notice in the morning that my sleep quality is through the roof. My sleep score is way up. My body battery on my Garmin is way up. Things get all the way back up to 100%. My recovery score on my Whoop band is way up. Like across the board, every device that I'm wearing and I test on this channel all the time is reporting that I got really good sleep, I had great recovery, and my sleep was super effective. And that's really only on nights where I'm using the CBD gummies. And I found that to be really interesting. Again, this is all anecdotal and just my experience and these aren't medical grade devices. So just take that with a grain of salt. And I will say, even though I'm seeing these numbers and all these different apps, it does mirror the way I feel. I feel much better. I feel much more recovered and refreshed and ready to take on more training. And honestly, it takes a lot for me to say something works or doesn't work. And again, this is anecdotal. I can only share my opinion based on the way I feel because there's not really a scientific way to measure what I'm feeling, but I do feel more or refreshed, but there are some things I don't like about the CBD MD gummies. First of all, is that maybe the, the kind I bought might be too potent for me. These are 200 milligrams of CBD per serving if I take two gummies. And I've noticed if I actually take two gummies, they knock me out. I go right to sleep, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're somebody who has struggles with insomnia or you can't sleep, maybe that would be a good thing. For me, I have four kids that are young. I need to be alert at night. I need to be able to wake up if somebody is crying. And if I take two of these gummies, I fall into a very heavy, deep sleep. And because of the way it feels to take two gummies, I've been reducing what I take to either a half a gummy on a given day or sometimes a full gummy. But I very rarely take two now unless I'm having having trouble sleeping. Another thing I don't love about these gummies is that whether or not I take a half a gummy, one gummy, or two full gummies, in the morning I do feel quite groggy. Like I still need a lot more sleep. It's really hard to wake up when my eyes open, my body's kind of telling me, go back to sleep. You need more time in bed, even though I've slept for like eight or nine hours and I have to wake up. And that groggy feeling can last a few hours. It can last one or two hours and all the coffee in the world cannot get me out of that grog. It really is a persistent level of grogginess in the morning. But once I get out of it, I'm fine for the rest of the day. It's not like a full day of grogginess. It's really just a couple of hours, but it's something I don't love about these gummies. With the oral supplement out of the way, I wanna talk about the topical that I've been using because this is also really exciting. So this is the CBD MD Recover Topical Cream. And just as the title suggests, it's a topical cream. So this is not something you ingest or eat. This is something that you rub on your skin in affected areas. So for me, I've got sore knees pretty often after a long run. And what I do is I take like a couple of pea-sized drops of this stuff, squirt it on my knees and just sort of rub it around and let it dry in. CBD MD suggests that you use this daily for the best results if you've got problem areas or arthritis or something like that. And I will say that's definitely the best use case for this stuff. And when it comes to the price of the CBD MD Recover Cream, this container came in at $79, about 80 bucks here in the USA, which again is very expensive for a 3000 milligram container. And the way this stuff works is very much like any other cream on the market out there. Simply pull the cap off and then you get this sort of airless pump. So if I push this down, it will dispense. I'll do it right here so you can see what it looks like. Dispense a little bit of cream 
and it actually smells pretty good. It's like, it's got this kind of a, kind of a lemon fresh minty kind of smell to it. Almost like a menthol a little bit there. It's got some, some tones of, uh, lemon and mint and some lime. I'm not really sure how to explain it or if you care what it smells like, but some people are sensitive to that. Let's talk about the effects of the CBD recovery cream. And this is something I didn't think I would say because it seemed like too good to be true. This stuff actually works. So for me, I've got problem areas in my knees. Both of my knees tend to be a little bit sore when I'm running 50 plus miles a week. And I've been using the CBD recovery cream on my knees, particularly on a daily basis. And I've noticed during my time of using this cream that the inflammation and pain and soreness has been significantly reduced in my knees even after heavy weeks of running. I feel like I can go on longer runs without that pain starting to creep in. But what's even better than that is that I can do back-to-back -back days of long running without dreading lacing up my shoes the next day and going out for another long run because I'm not as sore as I would be without this cream. And the best thing about the cream is that instead of like the oral supplement, you can put this anywhere. So if you start to have soreness in your feet or in your toes, you can rub it there. You can put it on your knees, your elbows. If you're a tennis player, your shoulders or something like that. It's accessible and you can isolate exactly where you want to use it. So generally I've been pleasantly surprised with the CBD MD recovery cream and I, I really was pretty skeptical about the cream. I didn't think this was going to actually do anything, but I can say for certain that the feeling I'm getting from this is far beyond placebo. Now that I've gloated all about the CBD MD recovery cream, let's talk about a couple of things I don't like, and this is going to mirror the oral supplement as well. The price, 80 bucks for this container. I've had it for a few weeks and it's almost gone, so I can imagine I'll need one container a month. And if I'm buying a container of this every month and a container of these every month, that's like $200 in CBD. That's, that's a lot of money. Even if they're working, like, uh, it's a lot of money. And I will say the only other thing I don't like about the recovery cream is that it doesn't dry very fast and it can actually stay in your clothes. It doesn't dry super quick. Like, you gotta give it a good, 10 minutes or so to soak in, and that's probably by design, but it is a little bit annoying. I wish it dried out a little bit quicker. And with all that said, it's time for final thoughts, and do I suggest buying CBD supplements? So, like I said before, I'm not a doctor, but in short, yes, I would highly recommend these from my experience so far with CBD. I've been kind of blown away with how this stuff is making me feel in my everyday training, and I don't know what to think about it. I really wasn't expecting a lot, and this stuff delivered far more than I expected. However, I do suspect that this is one of those situations where it's your mileage may vary. Just because this stuff is really, you know, something that's effective on my body, doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So before you invest in like a big container of this stuff and spend a bunch of money, may maybe try a smaller container, maybe a sample from somewhere and try it before you go out and spend a bunch of money on it. I've also been wondering lately if this stuff will become less effective the longer I use it. I've been using it for a few weeks now, but like if I use this for six months, will it still feel the same way or will my body adapt and it won't be as effective? I guess time will tell on that. If you're a scientist or a doctor and you know something about that, let me know in the comments down below. I will say that the grogginess of the oral supplement does prevent me from using it every day because I don't want to wake up in a funk, even though I do think it's doing something positive for me, but the topical cream is something I want to use every day. However, the price is a little bit cost prohibitive if you use it every day, so there's that. And now we've hit that point in the video where I want to hear from you. Do you use CBD supplements? What brand are you using? Do you like them? Do you feel effects from them? Are you using topicals or an oral? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you and your experience with this stuff. I gotta go now. Uh, it's been real. I'll see you next time. Bye.